Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wealth in Christ Show, a show where we inspire the masses to become financially free without compromising their faith. I'm your host, Dami, and today we'll be having a discussion about finishing the year strong. For many of us, this year may have not have planned out the way we expected. This year have, may have caught us with a lot of surprises. For some of us, this year has been a year where it feel like you're not progressing. It may feel like you're stagnant. There's nothing going your way. And for some of us, it may also have been a great year for us, you know, where everything is going well. Everything is... Everything we plan is coming to fruition. And for some of us, this may just been an okay year. You know, we get the both the good and the bad. However, I want to encourage many of us, especially those of us who may not... 2024 may not have been so great to us so far or has not been quote unquote our year. I want to encourage you that a lot can still change. A lot of things can change that can better this year for you. This year could still be a year. You know, we still have about three months left and a lot can happen as long as you believe that it's possible. You know, oftentimes in sports, it's very hard to call a game, you know, until the last second. You know, because so much can happen in the fourth quarter. A team can be down by 10, 15, 20, and somehow, some way, they end up winning the ball game. Somehow, some way, they end up scoring the last touchdown, the last field goal, the last goal. You know, they're able to overcome the challenges, you know, because they realize that it's not over. And I want to encourage us that it's not over, especially for us, especially for many of us who may not, 2024 may not have been what we have planned. You know, there's still a lot left for God to blow you, blow your mind. There's still a lot of time in this year for you to make changes in your life that can better your future. And in regards to financially, there's no better time to make changes and, you know, position yourself better in order to reach financial freedom than the fourth quarter. As you may know, this also is a season of holidays. Um, people are already thinking of the new year, but it's one to encourage you that this year is not over. We still have about three months left in this year. You know, don't count this year out. You know, there's still a lot that God can do for you. And there's four things that I want to leave us today. You know, like I already said, one, there's still a lot of time. You have to believe and understand there's still a lot of time to make changes, especially to yourself financially, in order to better your life. There's still, there's still a lot of money left to be made in this year. There's still a lot of financial opportunity that you can, still many, there's still many financial opportunities that you can be part of. But you have to believe that this year is not over. Oftentimes, when it's September, people are already counting out. People already think, that's pretty much it. But like I said, in any sport, the last quarter, you know, you know, different, you know, different outcomes happen. Teams that are down by 15 end up winning by 10. Or winning by 7 when it comes to football. Or they end up winning by 1. When it comes to soccer, you know, there's so many things that happen in the last quarter. That's why it's important for us not to give up yet. That's not. That's why it's important for us to continue to trust God that our miracle, you know, our financial breakthrough is on its way. Two, it's important for us to reflect on the last three quarters. Reflect on what we have learned. Reflect on what are some changes we need to make. What are some of the lessons we learned this past three quarters? that we need to make in, in regards to our finance. Do we need to save more? Do we need to invest more? Do we need to change how we're spending? Do we need to give more? You know, those are questions that we can use to reflect, to see what we can do in order to end this year financially well. It's important for us to understand as much as we're reflecting and we're putting to pro thoughts, put into process, you know, to make changes financially. It's important to make sure, to, it's important to make sure we know where we are in Christ. You know, I was reminded recently in church that, 
you know, being prosperous in every other way, but lacking spiritually is not worth it. You know, it does not, it does not, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't amount to anything. It reminds me of the scripture which states that what is it, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? So this fourth quarter can be great for you financially, but you lose your soul. You don't have no peace of mind. You know, you're stressed out beyond words can words can describe. You're lost. You feel lonely. You know, you're relying on different things to be a God, but yet you're still not being satisfied. This this is now the time to go back, you know, reconnect with God. As we, you know, build that foundation. You know, this is the perfect time to renew renew your vow, renew your relationship with Christ. Like this is the best time. It's not too late. This is the best time. Best time to, you know, make amendments to where you may have fallen short spiritually. Because where you are spiritually, it determines where, where you will go in life in every aspect. It will determine where you where you will go in every aspect. So it's important to make sure that we're still connected to the source, and especially we're connected to Jesus Christ, because He's the source that we all should be connected to. And lastly, but not least, is understand that what you may have done the last three quarters, the things, the mindset. The belief that you may have held these last three quarters may, you know, are, may not be beliefs or perspective that will that you can continue to hold in this fourth quarter if you want to change it. You may have to change your mindset. You may have to change your philosophy, especially when it comes to financially. You may have to change the way you go about investing, the way you go about viewing deals, the way you go about spending. You know, for a lot of us, you know, we've been spending, 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 spending in so many different places that are not, you know, that's not adding any value to our life. And we wonder why we're still in the same position. But this is now a great time to start saving. You know, so this is now a great time to start cutting back. You know, especially, you know, the holiday season is about to approach us. And for many of us who may celebrate the holiday, we understand, we understand how expensive can things be. This is a great time to start saving for the holiday. You may not have saved for the holiday this past three quarters, but this is, you still have an opportunity to save something to reduce the burden that may be on you this holiday season. For some of us, it may be first that we need to start investing more, not being scared. You know, the best time to invest was yesterday. The best time again to invest is today. You know, stop waiting. The market, the markets go through cycles. Sometimes they're up, sometimes they're down. Even the market crash, it will still go back up. Any business, any industry, whether it's real estate, any stock, you know, it will go back up. And maybe you need to learn more. So maybe you need to make coachable, you know, teachable. Maybe you need to go back and read some books. Maybe you need to take some programs you know, join some programs in order to understand, understand a different way of doing things. Maybe the way you're doing things is not being fruitful. And maybe you need to let go of that thought process. You need to let go of that way of doing things in order to see the fruits you're looking for financially. There's so many things that you make a little change to here and there financially, you know, that's often taken for granted. But if you really take the time one, believe there's still a lot of time left in this year to change your financial situation. Two, is you take time to reflect and see what changes you need to make. Three, you know, connect back to God. You know, get back that godly perspective that we all need. You know, get back and connect back with God so you understand what God will is for your life. When you're connected to the source and you understand Him, you understand what He needs from you and how he wants you to steward your finances in a way that it will not only benefit you, but also benefit others around you. And lastly, you know, is just take, make some new changes, actions. Maybe save money, open the high yield saving accounts. You know, open a brokerage account if you've been hesitant to save. Now is a great time. 
especially in the month of September, you know, the stock market is usually start off pretty rough and it usually sh shoots back up, you know, by October, November. -ish. And this is election year. So there's a lot of things, a lot of opportunities, you know, whether you want to buy a house, an investment property, get your papers together, your documents together, you know, connect with people who can help you accomplish this goal. Maybe to let go of the people that you're holding so tight and go out, go all around, meet new people, get a new perspective on what you what you're trying to accomplish. Maybe you need to change this, your spending habit. Maybe you need to not spend so much time, you know, on whatever it may be that you know is costing, that's making it hard for you to make your money, it's making it hard for you to make investments into things that will change your life, that will bring you a step closer to achieving financial freedom. I just want to leave us with this scripture, which is Isaiah 43, verses 18 to 19. And it reads, and it reads, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of the old. Behold, I'm doing a new thing, now it spring forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So I just want to leave us with that scripture. And it's just as a scripture to give us hope that the future is still bright. You know, that we should forget the former things. You know, forget how things may have already turned out to be. But, you know, believe that it's still possible for change to happen. It's believe that, you know, you can get a step closer to you achieving your financial goal. You can get a step closer to you attaining financial wealth. Financial, you get closer to you attaining financial freedom. As always, I hope this bless you guys. I hope this encourage you guys. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Stay blessed. Peace out.